Is Buddha real or not? Hear it and you will understand. Once upon a time, there was a person who regularly visited a barber shop for haircuts, shaving, and ear cleaning. As the skilled barber worked his hands swiftly, he engaged in lively conversations with his clients. The stories of ancient philosophers and wise men led them unexpectedly to discussions on spirituality, theology, and eventually the topic of the existence of the Buddha. While trimming the customer's hair with precise snips, the barber confidently declared, There is no Buddha in this world. Being a spiritually inclined person, the customer couldn't help but be intrigued and asked, Why do you say that? The barber continued, Just look around on the streets. Many children wander in search of a living. Numerous frail elderly people endure rain and scorching sun as they sell goods on their backs. Countless homeless individuals spend their nights on the sidewalks, struggling to find comfort. Not to mention the overcrowded and heartbreaking scenes in every hospital. If there truly was a compassionate Buddha in this world, why wouldn't he save these suffering lives? The customer fell silent. After paying for the service, as he stepped out of the barber shop, he noticed a disheveled person with untamed hair and a shabby appearance, clearly in need of a haircut. The customer swiftly turned back into the shop and exclaimed loudly, See! There are no barbers in this world. The barber was taken aback and replied, Did I just hear that right? Then who am I? Who just gave you a haircut here? The customer guided the barber outside, pointing to the person across the street, and said, There. If there were barbers, that person wouldn't be in such disarray. The barber smiled and responded, You are completely mistaken. Barbers still exist, but when someone refuses to enter the shop, no matter how many barbers there are, they are powerless. The customer smiled back and said, Exactly. It's the same with the Buddha. He always extends his hand, waiting for us, but we refuse to reach out and grasp his hand. We constantly find ways to deny the Buddha and pride ourselves on our limited abilities. That is the deep-rooted reason for all suffering in this world. Reflection In the world, people often seek and see in order to believe in the Buddha. If their desires are not fulfilled, they claim that the Buddha is not sacred, or that there is no Buddha. In reality, the Buddha's appearance in this worldly realm is not for individuals to test his existence with their personal desires. If you want to know if the Buddha saves and helps, you should practice the teachings of the Buddha, known as the Dharma. The Dharma is like a map, if you follow it, you will escape suffering and experience happiness from within. You will no longer enslave yourself to desires or rely on external objects for fulfillment.